SimCity is an urban simulator. The Sims is a dollhouse come to life. These mental models are easy to understand and interact with, and it's part of what makes those great games so endlessly engaging. Have you ever wondered what a mental model is and why you should care? I'm Amy Jo Kim, game designer and startup coach. Today, I'm gonna answer that question and show you how brilliant designers use mental models to create engaging experiences. By the end of this video, you will have a clear idea of what a mental model is and how you can use one to enhance your design process and leadership. First, let me give you some context. My students and clients struggle with this issue all the time. Their questions usually come up when we're working together to design their end-to-end -end customer experience using the Mastery Path framework. When you look at product design through this lens and think about the experience that you're delivering over time, the power of a strong mental model becomes blindingly clear. It's one of the best ways to organize your design and help your team make coherent decisions. In a nutshell, a mental model is an explanation of someone's thought process about how something works. We all build mental models that's what allows us to navigate the world and make assumptions about how to behave based on our previous experiences. Our mental models shape what we expect and how we think about what's possible. For example, think about going to the doctor. You have a set of expectations, a mental model for what's going to happen. Your role in the interaction, how that conversation will go, how you'll handle payment. Now it's the same with having drinks with a friend. You also have expectations about the rules that drive that interaction. You'll probably ask about each other's lives, swap some stories. Your interaction will be less formally structured than your visit to the doctor. So why are mental models so useful and important for product leaders to understand? It's simple. They shape expectations and drive engagement through familiarity. For example, it's polite to ask your friend how she's doing, but your doctor doesn't expect you to inquire about her health. When you're aware of these patterns and you implement the right cues, you can trigger a mental model in your customer's head that's familiar and thus helps them understand and get comfortable with what you're offering. Now, there's another reason mental models are so useful. They give us a shortcut for understanding new situations. Great product design often means tapping into a familiar habit or pattern that your customer already understands. Whether you're aware of it or not, whether you're intentional about it or not, your customers will map what you offer to what they already understand. They're gonna leverage what's in their head and make assumptions based on that. For example, my client Replica makes a sophisticated AI chatbot that engages in natural feeling conversation. We worked closely together to tighten up the mental model for their chatbot and create something customers would understand and engage in and want to come back to. Suppose you're interacting with a mental health chatbot having a conversation. Does that feel more like talking to a friend or a doctor? What are the cues that trigger one mental model or the other? Those two frames for the situation are very different and if you mix them up, your product experience is going to feel incoherent. The person who really drove this lesson home for me is Will Wright, the brilliant creator of The Sims and SimCity. I worked with Will on several projects, including the original Sims, and he'd always say to us, pay attention to the story that's unfolding in the player's head. Everything we're building into the game needs to support that story. Now this is something that great storytellers like Will understand and that every product leader can use to their advantage. It's hard to engage in a story if you don't have a clear mental model of what's happening. For example, SimCity is an urban simulator. The Sims is a dollhouse come to life. These mental models are easy to understand and interact with and it's part of what makes those great games so endlessly engaging. And on the development side, a clear, easy to understand mental model gives your whole team a North Star 
that helps clarify and organize your design decisions. And that makes it easier to develop a compelling and coherent customer experience. Working with Will taught me that game development is as much about programming the player's brain as it is about programming the experience itself. If the mental model embedded in your game or product feels real, if the cues are consistent and the player can see themselves in the story, it's much more likely to become part of their identity. And that's one of the very best ways to drive retention and engagement. Want more? Join me in the Game Thinking Hub, our free group for product leaders who want to innovate smarter. Go to gamethinking.io slash hub and sign up today. I'll see you there.